a picture perfect postcard day right here in Manhattan Beach. It is absolutely sensational and we are getting ready for yet another year of US Open Beach Volleyball action right here front and center. We've got surfers lining the coastline, party people and athletes of all statures ready for some championship action right here front and center. Well, hello everyone and welcome out to the U.S. Open of Beach Volleyball right here, 2010 Manhattan Beach. My name is Luke Van Valen. I'm joined here by three-time Olympic gold medalist Karch Karai. Karch, how you feeling? I am so fired up. We're in year four of the U.S. Open, a beautiful weekend at Manhattan Beach, the mecca of beach volleyball. It really is picture perfect out here, Karch. And uh, right behind us, we see center court, a lot of the uh, men's and women's open championship action. The very highest level of play that we're going to see here is taking place but talk to me a little bit about what else has been going on throughout the weekend we've got some grassroots action that's out here as well a hit me with that absolutely with the u.s open the concept is a festival of beach volleyball 54 courts lining the beach of manhattan beach from the pier hundreds of yards down 700 plus players playing and that's the idea every skill level both sexes mixed together fours doubles it's all together from all parts of the country and it's a festival and everybody's having a great time Truly a beautiful thing, beautiful day as we've mentioned. Now, Karch, uh, I feel compelled to bring up and inform the audience a little bit about we've got some different ruling that's taking place out here. We have a little bit more of a traditional beach volleyball style, which you know well. Talk to me a little bit about that. Using the classic rules of volleyball that were used for most of the years of the Manhattan Open since 1960 right here on this end. The two big differences, number one, the court is bigger by about 25%. There's four feet extra at each end line to hit your jump circle. Bet. Second, of course, you have to hold serve to score a point. That's called side out volleyball. Put those two together, and it's been compelling action this weekend. Well, I can't even wait for that. Um, it's It's been huge throughout the weekend. We're pushing closer and closer to the women's championship that's going to be coming up in a second. And we've also got a third member of our production staff out here, Karch. And as, uh, as I understand, she is the cousin of a, a very incredible surfer. What's his name again? Uh, Rob Machado. And, you know, Jazz is out there somewhere, but I'm looking and looking and looking, and I can't find her. I wonder where that woman could possibly be. I'm, I'm actually pretty interested in her whereabouts. It's a beautiful day in Manhattan Beach. I just had a great surf session. Now I'm going to head up and sit courtside at the U.S. Open Beach Volleyball Women's Final. Come check it out. The Corona Light U.S. Open of Beach Volleyball is brought to you by Corona Light. It only gets better. And by Paul Mitchell, your stylist favorite since 1980. back folks we are getting ready for the women's final shorts bikini stand up Tara Cook stand up Tara Cook all American give it up her partner out there out of Estero Florida she was Florida Gulf Coast all American three time top 10 AVP finishes in 2010 her partner Brooke Sweat their opponents today in love seat number two. Coming in out of Hermosa Beach via Colorado. She was actually an alternate 04 Olympics in the indoor volleyball scene. Two-time All-American Long Beach, sporting the green bottoms, Brittany Hochaver. How about it? And her partner, Victor, Coney Island 09, actually, College Hall of Fame, Tennessee 07. Yeah. With Liz Mazakine inducted, she is out of San Diego. She is Diane Denecoche. Yeah. Give it up. <laughs> We're gonna have one match here. One game to 15 points, side out scoring, win by two. Right here, front and center court, all part of the U.S. Open of Beach Volleyball here in 2010. Once again, my name is Luke Van Vale, and I'm joined by three-time Olympic gold medalist Karch Karai. And Karch, it looks like the serve is going to be going to Brooke Sweat. What can you tell me about her? Well, she's 24 years old, and I love her persistence. Uh, she has been toiling away and has made the final here, came out of the loser's bracket, 
And one of the beautiful things about this tournament with side out scoring is there have been a ton of comebacks. The score doesn't change as quickly. We saw that play just transpired, but the score is still 0-0. You have to hold serve to earn a point. So it's made for a ton of comebacks. Both teams have accomplished a couple of those in this tournament. Indeed, and off the top of the block of Tanekeshe right there, Brooke Sweat tooling out wide, nicely executed. So side out, looks like it will now be to Tara Cook. Next Shea sets. And looks like the shot flies wide. And and there she is, Karch, the third member of our production staff. That's Jazz right there, just holding it down, sideline style. Love to see that young lady. So one serving zero out here, Karch. Glad we could yank her out of the waves and over for another game. <laughs> Indeed. Shots down on two, Denekeshe wasting no time. And Denekeshe is a taller player at 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 and so that's a wise strategy. Try to let her carry more of the offense. One of the things she likes about the rules here, the fact that there's more, that there's four feet extra of court at each end. So all of those have been going in this weekend. She loves that part of the rule. Beautiful stuff. Here's Brooke Sweat, well set. Down and in, well smacked from Tara Cook, putting it down. Great, great team unity on both sides of the net here. And here's a look at the rules. Take us through again. You just mentioned them, Karch. Talk to me a little bit more about this. And it's more tradition, especially here in Manhattan, the tournament that's been running so long since 1960. Just play one game. It's to 15 points. Got to win by two. Side out scoring means you have to hold serve to score. So only the team on the left can score a point in this. And they may. No. Nice up by Ho Chaba. And Brittany with a touch, coffin corner. And that's taking advantage of the other rule, the, the, a longer court that we saw in the graphic, uh, a full 30 by 30 foot court, and Hochaver using every bit of it to get the ball down over the heads of Cook and Sweat. And on that far side, about four feet of difference from what we've seen conventionally. And Brittany with a shot right there. Hochaver missing that serve, but she said, it feels like I'm serving at a football field. There's so much court on the other side of the net. So that was a rarity. She's been unleashing on her serve. That's one of the things that you expect more. There's that football field. That's one of the things you expect from this as players serve tougher, but try to keep it in a lot. And Hochaver with a nice big Cross-court smack down and in, finding a small piece of a very large bit of real estate out there. It looks like the serve will now be to Diane Denekeshe. You talk about a veteran in the sport here, Karch. Talk to me a little bit about um, her experience at 42 years old. Well, she was reminding me that last year she won on the Pro Tour, and she broke, as she reminded me, with a great serve there down the middle for a point, that she broke a record that I co-held of the oldest team combined Watch this serve right down the middle. There's a lot of court to cover. Well placed by Denekeshe. That's the old, uh, I got it, you take it. Exactly. Huh? She and her partner, Carrie Dodd, had a combined age of 76. Beat the record that I had with Brent Doble of 75 combined age for a tournament win. And now she is in possibly her last season. Oh, what a move. Too. She doesn't look like she'd be in her last season. Yeah, absolutely. Possibly in her last season. This could be the last event of her career. and It's been a fabled one. Well, that female certainly knows how to lay it out. Have a look. Goodness, here's Brooke Sweat set to fire that Spalding. She is back and in. Brooke Sweat out of the Sarah and of course, uh, you know, one of the big fabled things about this particular event is the fact that you take the win and you get a plaque on the Manhattan Beach Pier. It's kind of a, uh, a legendary, flattering bit, is it not? An honor, if you will. Absolutely. For the Manhattan Open each year since 1960, you get to see, have those names put on the Walk of Fame. And there is the pier, of course. That Walk of Fame goes... 50 years now after 2010. Fans can watch from the pier. We're trying to keep the stands to a minimum at this event, so you can watch from all angles. Well set. Brittany fires down and in. 
Finding a nice opening. And you know, Karch, to follow up on that, I actually took a stroll down the pier today and I, I, I looked for your name and I think I saw it about eight times. <laughs> there's there's a few of them on there. Anybody who's anybody has yeah. won here. The greats, Sinjin Smith, Randy Stoklos, Mike Dodd, Tim Hovland, all the greats over the years, right on up to Phil Dahlhauser, Todd Rogers on the men's side, and of course, Mr. May and Kerry Walsh on the women's side, multiple times on that pier. Well, here's another replay of what we just saw. Look at Diane Denekeshe just lurking at the net, seeing that ball traveling long and bringing it down. Yep, and she's tall, jumps well, so it's a mistake to try to put the set too close because she'll eat it up at the net. Easy point for Denekeshe and Hochaver. Classic. Look at that smack down and in from Tara Cook. She's having a good game at the net. And a good tournament. She said she had to be really persistent. She asked her partner. Neither of those two qualified for this event with their regular partner. Both had partners who were unavailable. She called five, six, seven times, we called Brooke, and said, will you please play with me? On the seventh one, Brooke finally said, okay, I'll come out here. And now they made the finals in a chance to become the American champions, the U.S. Open champion. Well, it certainly seems to be worth it. Here's Brittany. And a nice up by Sweat. And that's one of those real points that we see right there. Nicely done. Side change on five, folks. Stick around. Stay with us for more action from the U.S. Open of Beach Volleyball. Well, it's a beautiful day here in Manhattan Beach. Welcome back to the U.S. Open of Beach Volleyball. Women's final action currently underway. That is a beautiful thing. Stepping into the launch pad now. Brooke Sweat set to serve. Okay. And shots in. And that'll play. That was funny. She said she played a mixed tournament with her few, her husband to be a while back. What a nice serve down the line! And he said, "Boy, if you treated your regular partners like you treated me, you wouldn't have any partners." So she said, "All right, I got to hold it back. I got to be a little more patient and bite my tongue because she's so ultra competitive." Beautiful. Another Down. nice serve. Light. Oh, boy. Tara Cook with a top-notch block falling back and in. And of course, uh, you know, blocking the whip, the strong arm of Diane Denekeshe. No easy task, Karch. I was talking to Hochaver and Denekeshe before the match. They were saying, we have to play with a little different mentality. We call it urgent patience, because you have to try hard on every play to get the ball down like that. But then you have to be able to do it over and over again. The matches last a little longer here because every serve doesn't score a point, only when and the team is serving and wins the rally is a point score. I gotta tell you, Karch, I'm a huge fan of that. I mean, you, you see people occasionally serve into the net, and that shouldn't be a point for the other team. I think they should earn it. Oh. And I feel you. Like, look at that. What 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 exactly happened there? That sir? was the mesmerizer in Oatshaver celebrating there. She hit it high and deep into that extra four feet of court that you have in traditional rules volleyball, 30 by 30. And some confusion, of course, between Sweat and Cook. Well, here's Brittany Hoshaver again. And Tara Cook just absolutely violent with that big whip at the net. I'm liking what I'm seeing. She is a sniper out there. Here's the set on the replay from Brooke Sweat and just hammers down and in that block as we've talked about. Very difficult to fire around. Both of the players on that team have stories about their future husbands and, and Cook's was when she was dating her then boyfriend. She hurt herself playing in a tournament with him. Hurt the MCL in her knee. Two things happened when she was coming back. Her husband said, A, I'm dumping myself. You're never playing with me again. <laughs> Almost gets that ball up. And B, um, I want you to play. stop playing the lower level tournaments in Florida, especially the AA, and play open division. I, you know, I know you can do it. And so those two combined, she came back, and since then she's been playing top level professional beach volleyball. She certainly is. Let's see what she's got here. A little moose knuckle up and over. Ooh. 
And the emergence of the tomahawk, the hand of Brooke Sweat. Look at that. Janekashe with a nice big smack, catching it off the top of the block and falling into a very large court. Beautiful. Here's the set. Brooke Sweat is up. And almost on a full sprint, having read that play, seeing where it's going. Talk me through this replay we're going to come up with right here, Karch. Well, you can see Ho Chaver jo drops off. She fakes, leaving the line for Denekashe. Denekashe making a nice move, but with this bigger court, just misses getting it up as she lays it out. Brooke Sweat again. Oh. It's a picture-perfect postcard day, and you're watching the U.S. Open of Beach Volleyball for Manhattan Beach. More women's finals after this. At Dig Magazine, we get asked a lot about the condition of beach volleyball. My answer is always the same. Beach volleyball is resilient. It's going to survive. It's always going to succeed. It's the natural setting of beach volleyball, the, the foremost attraction. We've had this long history of characters, the Tim Hovlins, the great athletes, the Karch Cries, the Misty Mays. You mix that all together, and you have a compelling and seductive event. The thing that separates beach volleyball from some of the other Olympic sports is the lifestyle. From the early morning check-in to the after party, it's just a great weekend. There, there's a long list of legends in this sport including Karch Karai, probably the most recognizable figure in this game, who started playing when they were playing for six packs, and he closed career playing for six figures. But it was the same game to Karch, and Tim Hovland, Randy Stoko, Sinjin Smith, they built this sport, they created all these opportunities for these young players today, and at the magazine, we try to pay tribute to these great legends of the past. There's a natural bridge between the fans and players of the 80s and the present day players and fans. We have this history that we can tap into, these characters. It's still the same game. You can change the ball, you can change the court size, you can, you can put antennas, but it's the authenticity of this game that is so compelling. And welcome back to a beautiful day, very hot day out here for the U.S. Open of Beach Volleyball. I'm Luke Van Valen, joined by Karch Karai. And Karch, we are in the midsection, except I would say somewhat early on still with women's final action. Uh, wh what have we seen so far? We've seen a lot of nice side out volleyball. Good control, couple service aces, but both teams playing utterly even, represented in the score. There's a tough cross court serve, but Ho Chaver sets her partner up for the on two offense that Denekeshe operates, executes so well as she has in much of her career. And as I mentioned before, 42 years old, and she's considering making this her last season. This could be the last event of her career. She'd love to end it with a win. Well, that certainly would be a picture-perfect story. No question about that. Here's Ho Chaver to serve. Nice big jump serve. Found from Tara Cook. Uh-oh. Tight set. Mistake there. It started with a pass that went too close to the net by Cook. And then Sweat tried to make it better, but really didn't have any room right along the net. And so she put it over. And as a result, the Nekashe with the easy point. Hochaver fires in again. Great looking serve. Here's Cook. Sets up. Hochaver, oh. <laughs> what? Nice hustle right over by the banner. It looked like she didn't really have much room to get it deep. I was a little surprised to see Cook staying so far back, and it took her a long time to, to start moving on that. Never got her hand to the ball. Brittany fires in. And here's Hochaver. Well dug, but just could not quite control it. Her positioning was right on, but what took place there? Just a little bit of trouble. Well, it started again with a tough serve from Hochaver. 
And she gets the easy dig. You're right. It was a good read, but just couldn't get the hands up. Brooke Sweat couldn't get him up and keep the ball in there. A lot of serve, tough serving is creating a lot of scoring opportunities for these two teams. That's one of the things you'll see in a larger court. Well, as we see some of the gals on camera there, it's been a long season here, Karts. There's been nine stops before we've gotten right here to the U.S. Open of Beach Volleyball. 2010 Corona Light Wide Open Tour. Look at that, Fort Lauderdale into Galveston, Texas, and so on and so forth. And you've been there for a lot of this competition, a lot of this action. And I've loved to see the Pro Tour get to places like Santa Cruz, traditionally a great beach volleyball spot. Up to eight winners in eight different divisions at each of these tournaments you see on the screen won a full expenses pay all expenses paid trip out here flights road hotel and everything to come play so it wasn't just the open teams that would qualify but maybe it would be a men's b and a double a women's double a and, and all these divisions and that and they all descended on manhattan beach this weekend in this huge festival that is the u.s open a beach volleyball Perfect. Thank it is an absolute party great music people out there just enjoying themselves keeping it real chirping a little bit cheering it's just a great Great vibe out here, and here is Brittany Hochaver. <laughs> Brooke Sweat, bump set. Ooh, that's close, that's trouble. <laughs> well, nicely played there up at the net. Things getting tight with a couple of sets that might have been a touch questionable. Let's see what went down here, Karch. Talk me through it. Well, it was a scramble play, and but Hochaver eventually puts it down. What happened was that Cook and Sweat have been passing and setting a little too close to the net. Here's Brittany, nice big shot in. She's been serving well so far today. Brooke Sweat. Oh, the dig. And a big up, but not quite enough. Let's really, have a look here. Really good effort by Hochaver and Denekashe might have had that, but she went with the left hand and then hit it to her left, but unfortunately her partner was to her right. So maybe try to get two arms on that or the right right hand, right arm, and it might stay in the area where Brittany could put it over. I gotta be a huge fan. I'm a, I gotta be honest, excuse me. I'm a huge fan of when those balls are just hit over in strange positions. People are diving, laying out, scrapping, getting it back and forth. It just brings the intensity to a whole new level. Here's Tara Cook. Deneka Shade, easily. What a nice shot by Deneka Shade. Big shot down and in. She's got the height, certainly taking advantage of it, and now steps back into the service zone. We were talking about the side out. She said she loves side out volleyball. They came back from down 4-9 one match and 3-9 another on their way to a so far undefeated record in this tournament. That's one of the beauties of side out volleyball is you can hold the opponents to the same score for minutes on end. Even though the score might not be changing, you can be working and getting them more and more tired, making them work, hitting the balls to the corners and making them dive. And who doesn't love a good comeback, huh? The old from behind. Well, there was a great comeback yesterday on the men's side. Ty, Ty Loomis and Katie, Casey Patterson, one of the top seeds, they were up 13 to eight and never got another point. Lost 15-13 to uh, another really strong team in in this tur in this tournament. Adrian and uh, and Steve Kukowski. Just out. We're, we're hearing some uh, some good old-fashioned heckling down there from the sidelines. You gotta love it. You know the beach vibe certainly allows for some of that. I think the fans feel free to do more of that. They're closer to the players. They're sitting on the sand. It's, there's a lot of banter going on. The players are having fun with it. The fans are sure having fun with it. That's one of the nice things about not having stands and playing it like traditional volleyball has been for many years here at Manhattan Beach, starting in 1960. See the high line shot here from Hochaver. Oh, down and in. Yep. Brooke Sweat just couldn't get over there to play the ball. And here's Diane Denekashe. She's got that Spalding in hand, the only ball used out here at the U.S. Open of Beach Volleyball. 
Here's a look. Tara Cook fires in. Well found. Nice dig. Denekashe, what a dig and wow. transition for a tall player to do that. She and her partner are actually switching off blocking, even though she's probably the stronger blocker. They're staying fresh. It's beautiful. We're going to take a quick break. Stay with us, folks. Action continues. to the 2010 U.S. Open of Beach Volleyball right here in beautiful Manhattan Beach. And women's finals currently underway. Deneka Shea and Ho Hochaver are leading 10 to 5 over Tara Cook and Brooke Sweat. And of course, I'm joined by Karch Karai. Action continues, Karch. The score was 5 to 5. Five unanswered points for Deneka Shea and Hochaver. And now an opportunity for a six, thanks to a tough serve by Deneka Shea. Diane and a big shot right there from Diane Denekashe, 42 years old. You talked about she's considering retiring this season. I got to be honest, objectively speaking, Karch, I just don't know if, how much I like that idea because she's really bringing the heat out there. I agree. I said the same thing. It's not so much a physical thing. as She just said, you know, I've played a lot of volleyball. It might be just time. And, uh, and But she play, she's at the top of her game right now. And another dig. She's known for her blocking, not her digging. What a play. Oh. Oh. The dig, the set, the kill. Denekashe having a fairly intense round of action. She is just bringing the heat out there. Defensively, offensively, the blocks, it's all there. She is really rounding out this lead that they're holding. And I don't know how she's doing. She said she got off ibuprofen a few years ago. I mean, without that, I'd be a, the walking wound. I'd be in a wheelchair up here. <laughs> and she almost gets that one. She was funny, too, because she got her start really late. Started a family, had some kids and didn't really get started till 32. At that point, she was a, quote, young pup playing with one of the all-time greats, Liz Mazakian. She was fiery. Now, she's the older player, and she loves the fire of her partner, Brittany Hochaver, who's excited and more of the young pup herself. But funny, young pup at 32. Wow, that's great. Shots in here she is again, and the collegiate Hall of Famer brings it down hot yet again. She looks fresh as a daisy out here. None of these players should feel that way because it's been a long, hot weekend, unlike most of the summer in Southern California. Summer has finally come after it ended in Southern California. And you know, I heard rumors that uh, we've been seeing temperatures below 60 degrees in past weeks, and then it, uh, it really Really turned out well for us out here. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling about 120 right now. <laughs> We're facing yeah. the sun yeah, up in the tower, ball. and it's I'm, I'm ready for that water after these after the women's open yeah. final and the men's open final. We're going to try and find jazz in the waves. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. The feelings mutual, Mr. Curie. Shots in from Brittany flies just long. We're talking inches beyond the line there. Just out there. And Brittany said she's been enjoying this weekend with a larger court, being able to rip her indoor jump serve. That, of course, would be out by Olympic rules, but that was just long, uh, out by four feet in, nor in, in Olympic rules. Here she is. Oh. And Tara Cook hoisting a solar eclipse block of sorts. Let's look at this replay. Watch Cook sneak to her right. Or actually, sorry, to her left. Jumps into the angle a little there. Fools Denekashe and jumped right in front of her partner who was digging the angle, also blocked the angle. We called that the eye formation in defense where the blocker fools, and, and that was a nice play to get her team off five. They've been stuck there forever. And Brittany getting the serve back to her side of the net right there. And, you know, Karch, you talk about eye formations and, and different sorts of defensive strategy that starts to come out all on the fly. What sort of communication takes place back there? How do they know that this is taking place? 
Well, I think what happened on that play is that Cook just said, I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to just solo it and, and try to create a scoring opportunity. Nice up by Cook there. Now she's got to try to block against a bigger, more talented offensive player. And oh, that has the advantage. And here's another look at the replay. You could see Danekeshe took her, take her eyes. Hitters often do that. The set goes up. The hitter takes her eyes off the ball, looks at the defense. Here you can see the passers setting up to receive serve and how they have to split the court. But the hitter will take her eyes off the ball, look at the defense for a second, and then hit the open shot. And place it nicely, I assume. Just like we saw, Tara Cook, of course, been a bit of a sniper of late at the risk of being redundant. I have mentioned that a few times. I've been impressed with her accuracy of late. She, uh, she's really tenacious. She was tenacious to get her partner. She spent a year trying to break in on the American Pro Tour. Uh, and for a year, she would lose the last match in qualification just to get to the main draw, but didn't let it bother her. A lot of tenacity. And that tenacity has helped her get to the final here at the U.S. Open of Beach Volleyball. It's a picture-perfect postcard day, and you're watching the U.S. Open of Beach Volleyball for Manhattan Beach. More women's finals after this. Well, it's a beautiful day here in Manhattan Beach. Welcome back to the U.S. Open of Beach Volleyball women's final action currently underway. Hochaver fires, and that's going to go just long. Good eye from the defense. And of course, you mentioned that you don't know if the serve should be going to her, but earlier in the match, we saw them serving Brittany, and she was passing nice and high, and we saw uh, Danekeshe coming in and firing down on two. And, and that's the trouble. It's like you serve one, you don't get any points. You serve the other, you don't get any points. What do we do now? <laughs> we serve out? <laughs> we serve Luke in the in the tower? <laughs> what yeah, yeah what, exactly, what exactly are we going to do here? Nice looking low set, real easy. Ooh, Look at nice it's up. Ooh. Off the pole, the whistle gets tweeted, and that's going to be a side out. Great touch by Sweat, running to her left. Sometimes you'll see players running to their left, but they're right-handed, so they'll turn and go with their right hand, and they don't have as much range. Sweat doing a nice job. If she's running to go to left, to her left with the ball, she actually made the play with her left arm, and it kept it alive. Uh-oh, close again. And uh, that, that appeared to be out of bounds from my angle, Carps. That, that looked in. It looks like the uh, officials might be speculating. Well, here's what happens. The lines, of course, move in beach volleyball. And Hochaver comes down and tries to get it. Watch her here. She drags the line, and so the argument is, wait a minute, that was in. But really, the she moved the line after it landed out. Okay. Championship point. Match point. Give it up for the players. Come on. Let's do this. Championship point shot is in. Brooke Sweat sets. Needing this. Saving it. Deneka Shea is up for the shot. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our champions right there. Diane Denekeshe and Brittany Hochaver have taken the 2010 U.S. Open of Beach Volleyball. That is top honors, folks. And don't go anywhere because we got men's action on the way. We have our champions on the women's side right here from Manhattan Beach. Stay with us.